Hey there, if you follow us here at Five Market Realty, uh, you know that we do a market update on what we see in Athens area real estate each month. We've been doing this now going on, oh, I guess since 2020 in uh, the pandemic, and now we continue it to keep our clients informed on the market. We don't have near as much buyer demand, but we still have an ever-growing amount of people that are watching these. So we know uh, you do want to kind of stay informed on what's going on. Just kind of know what's happening on the ground. If you're interested in Athens area real estate, anything around the Athens area, or you're in the market to purchase a home, be sure to click subscribe. You'll be updated when we have a new video. We also have videos about properties and other things that we'll be adding in the future. But today we're going to talk about what's been going on through the first eight months of 2023. And a lot of things remain the same. So there's not going to be a big drastic shift in any way. But there is something I want to make a point about is how the trends are very much the same uh, in the market right now, despite what we've seen with interest rates. So right there, our transaction volume is way down, but the trends remain the same in many ways. And that's what I'm going to go through and show you a little bit here in this in this month's market update. Now, you know what we like to do if you've seen these before three years back, tracking new listings, days on market, average sold price in both counties. And then, of course, the total home sold. What's really eerie about this particular month is um, it was almost exactly like July. Uh, I don't know if you saw that, but these numbers, these percentage changes are very similar. So what you're seeing here is 2023, we've got Athens Clark 1,349 total new listings down 16% from 2022, which was 1,600. That was still down from what we needed. You can see in 2021, it was almost 2,000. We're at 40 days on market. Good news for home buyers. That's actually giving you some time to uh, to decide to buy a house. That's a 35% gain over last year, 40 days on market. That's Clark and Oconee. Keep in mind, these numbers are from our classic MLS. We're not pulling Georgia MLS. We're not pulling from for sale by owners. It's just the Athens MLS, which is our best reflection of the market for people that are based here in Athens, Georgia. Average sold price up again about 9%. But hey, that 9% gain, if you remember in 2022, another year, 2021, we were seeing 20% gain, 25, 35% gains in price. So that price is still increasing, but it's cooling down in the, uh, how fast it's going. 39% behind, I'm seeing that right now, but total homes sold, 1,034 uh, year to date, and that's uh, 39% 39, 39 behind 2021 and 21% behind 2022. That's the significant thing is our transaction volume is down, continuing trend that we are seeing. People are just kind of uh, sitting on the sidelines because of low interest rates and low inventory. But um, the month of August, we'll take a quick look at this. It's going to remain very similar, very similar trends. I mean, 135 new listings. That's still low. That's just the month of August. Day, days on market, just below 40. And the average sold price about 450, which is slightly down at three and a half from this time last year. And then again, total homes sold for the month of August, 103 which is 25% behind last year at 137. And this whopping number here, the month of August, 237 in 2021, calling that the unicorn year now, the rare, uh, maybe we'll see that type of volume again, but 57% behind 2021. So that's sort of going to what I was talking about is we have all these uh, less transactions. And what's going on is there's less motivation for people that that are in a good living situation. We have home buyers, just not as many people that still need a home. And we're going to talk about what trends in the market are the same and then kind of end on some good advice for the buyers and really sellers in this climate. Let's finish up with some of the other things we like to look at. Monthly inventory of homes. This is basically the active homes for sale. Basically, I pulled this uh, this morning. So this is going to be what it was. What's today? September 5th or 6th. And as you can see right there, do you see a trend? So back here, we're in September to December, 245 to 255 homes. Then we hit to the new year, January, you're down 201, February, 179, 180, 191. And then the spring market below 200, we start climbing back out of it. And look where we are today at 252. So my point here is this part of the year, September, October, November, December, if you are in the market one way or the other, there might be more opportunity now because of what's out there. Somebody that needs to sell their house. So you might want to pay attention to that. And if you're a home seller, you also need to be aware that this is a time of year where you need to price property correctly. More than likely, you might sit. And if you're OK doing that, go right ahead. But you need to price the property property fairly in this current climate. Now, total monthly sales. Let's just start here. You can see in August it was 131, which was low, 103 now. But look, we went 131, 132. Then we started to drop off last year. You see? The amount of transactions, the amount of homes for sale, they're correlated. So you're probably going to see more inventory. So if you're a buyer right now, 
this is a great time to maybe get a little negotiating power between now and the end of the year. That's been true historically. That's mattered in normal markets where we're entering or hot markets. We're still slightly in a seller's market, but it doesn't mean there's not some benefits out there to you right now um, if you need to purchase. And then obviously, I've shown this many times, we want to be at 200 or above. We're not there. And of course, these sales, what we're going to see more than likely, probably going to see them taper down off the end of the year. That's just the historical trend we've been seeing. But now I want to get to what I really wanted to talk about. This is what I wanted to show you about the market and the percentages and ratios of how things are the same, despite the volume difference. So there used to be a bigger pie, right? And we used to divide that pie up in transactions and realtors. Well, now the pie is just much smaller uh, because of the transaction. So this is comparing Clark County and Oconee County. Right now, this is the home sold this year, year to date. And as you can see, 718 to 316 represents 56% less. Oconee County is 56% less transactions in this market with the rising interest rates and inflation. Let's see what it was in 2021. 2021, same thing. Total homes sold, 1,159. Now, there were more of them, 464. But we're talking about 56% less versus 60% less. So that percentage of difference is actually tracking the same. It's just the amount of transactions is getting different. Uh, is getting smaller, contracting. Now we're on the new listings. Let's look at what the new listings were. This is this year, 940 in Clark County, 409 new listings in Oconee, representing 57% less this year. And Clark's got that much more than Oconee. Let's just look now. It's 54% less two years ago. Now, granted, 1,334 new listings and 1,616 are a lot more than right now. But those trends and differences in the market, the amount, it's interesting to me how those things are actually pretty stable. It's really just about the size of the pie. The way we're dividing these things up are staying the same. Now we're looking at price. This is 2023, and this is 40% more. Oconee County is now averaging 40% more year to date than, than Clark County. Now, Clark County has some really expensive homes, but we've also got a lot of condos that can help bring this number down. We've sold a lot of condos, roughly 25% of the Clark County market has probably been some type of condo, 300,000 or below. And then let's go back and look at 2021. We were 40% there, 41% in 2021. So 237,000 was the average sale. Ooh, I long for those days. Doesn't that sound affordable? And then $400,000 in Oconee County just two years ago. Thanks to this historical printing of money, this uh, supply and demand getting out of whack. And really, um, we've seen interest rates cool it down, but we're not really seeing prices fall off in a meaningful way. We're just seeing uh, less, less transactions. Now, uh, this is our group here. Here, we actually got a new photo getting done in October, so we'll finally be able to update this one for you. But folks, if you're in the market, what I was alluding to earlier is this is a time of year, September, October, November, December, if you're in the market where opportunities might exist. Also, don't believe everything you hear about interest rates. You need to connect with a realtor and a lender that knows, has more options for you. Just last week, we had someone come in our office that has options in the low sixes, 6.25, and you know, then what you might hear on the radio. You might need to see where the opportunity is, get a second opinion. And again, if you're good in your house, then good for you. I mean, that's a great place to be right now, sitting on a good interest rate. We're going to keep you informed about what we see in our market. So you can sort of plan ahead for what it is you need to do. Reach out to us at info at 5M Realty, or be sure to click subscribe. And of course, another video. And I hope everybody gets now into September. Here comes fall. Georgia football here in town. Great time of year to be in the Athens area. Have a great week and thank you for sticking with us for what was almost nine.